What a small word we use for an idea so immense and powerful, love. It has altered the flow of history, kindled works of art, turned tough men to mush and made mincemeat of kings. How can love's spaciousness be conveyed in the narrow confines of one syllable? Laura, today has been too long in the making. I don't know if I can ever explain to you what you mean to me. Being with you has been an amazing journey, one that I want to continue for the rest of our lives. I stand here today, heart and soul, making these vows to you. I, David, promise to support your dreams and be there for your nightmares. I promise to make you laugh every chance I can and be silly when you need a distraction in your day. I promise to trust your judgment, knowing you're smarter and know best. Promise to be your strength when you're weak, be your light in, when times are dark. Promise to always be a role model to our children and always be there to cuddle our fur babies. Promise to be me for all our life and never stop loving you until time fades away. I treasure every moment we have together and I dread every moment apart. I'm grateful to be your husband, best friend and soulmate. I love you with my heart. Laura and Dave met back in Coventry. Their relationship was very strong from the get-go, I remember that, and uh, in spite of his early breakdown, Dave seemed to have an inkling that Laura was going to be the one. So confident, I still remember him telling me in our final year that I would one day be the best, best man at his wedding when he gets married to Laura. So when he left, Dave gave me a gift, and uh, we were both big fans of the animation Futurama, and uh, Dave had suddenly uh, become interested in, in illustration. So he sketched several pictures of the robot character Bender uh, on a large sheet of drawing paper which he gave to me as he's leaving. That piece of paper is uh, still stuck on my wardrobe. It's one of the first things I see every morning because it also has a very poignant message on it and it reads, good luck with everything you do in your life, mate. I know good things will come for you. And I know it's probably six years too late, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to say right back at you, buddy. Over the past eight to nine years, you, you always find ways to surprise me. Whether that be your knowledge of some very unusual trivia that I didn't really know existed, or how you got me to learn that cats weren't evil and actually loving companions, you have the greatest strength and resilience of anyone I've ever met. It's, your confidence in yourself is something I admired when I met you. You blew me away when I first met you. You make me want to be a better person every day and you help me to be a better person every day. When I'm feeling lazy, you light a fire in me. When I seem to be going into overload, you manage to bring me back into perspective. You help me overcome something that took over my life, but that was just from your patience and acceptance of who I was. You make me believe I'm worth something every day and that I deserve good things in my life, that I will never have to settle for second best. You're my best friend, someone I can always rely on to listen to my dumb jokes, my nonsense facts that aren't true, my pearls of wisdom when they aren't gibberish. I'll, I'll never be able to show you how much I love you. And you've taken me on the most amazing adventure of my life. I can't wait to raise a family with you. And then to open up our own little animal sanctuary in future years, to adopt another two to three hundred animals. I love you so much. I can't thank you enough for being you and helping me feel comfortable with being me.